Hi, my name is Dr. Jennifer Ray, um, and I'm going to be your Spanish instructor this semester. Um, I wanted to go ahead and introduce myself. This is a picture of me. Um, I have another computer that enables, or a, a system on my other computer that would enable me to do a video where you can actually see my face, but um, the system was running a little bit slow this morning, so I couldn't use it. Um, so anyway, this is my email address. This is where I'm located, AT350, number 13, um, and this is my these are the two phone numbers you could reach me at, and this is my extension. Um, the only thing I want to warn you about is that I don't just teach at Jamestown. I'm primarily based at Jamestown. However, I do also teach at Cameron and at High Point, so I travel a lot. Um, so I prefer for you all to communicate with me via email um, or through Skype. Um, this, when I send you, if I send you an email through my personal email system, this would, I think, show up as a link in my signature. Um, but if I'm sending you an email through my phone, it's just a picture, so you would have to type this on. But this is a YouTube video that explains to you how to set yourselves up in, um, or how to how to use Skype in case you wanted to communicate that way. Um, these are my office hours, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8.30 to 9.30 at Jamestown, A2350, number 13. Also at Jamestown on Wednesday from 9.30 to 10.30, I'll be on AT350, number 13. On Tuesdays from 10.30 to 11.30, I'll be in C25 at the Cameron campus. Um, and so anyway, I've been with Guilford Tech for 13 years. I also taught here one, one year as an adjunct, so I've technically been here 14 years. Um, prior to that, I taught at High Point Central for like three and a half years. Um, I'm uh, local to this area. I was born in Greensboro. I uh, lived in Virginia for just the middle school years, then moved back to the High Point area. I'm a graduate of Southwest Guilford. Um, my kids, which are right here, they actually go to Southwest Elementary. This is Owen, who's nine. He's going into fourth. Lucas, who's seven, um, and going into second. And Caleb, my baby, who's four, who isn't school age yet. He's in uh, pre-K. Um, I graduated from Chapel Hill with a um, bachelor's in Spanish and in political science. Um, I went, while I was there, I studied abroad at La Universidad de Sevilla. Um, then after that, I spent a year in Honduras working for um, Nuestros Pequeños Hermanos. Um, after graduating, I taught at High Point Central. Well, after spending a year abroad, I taught at High Point Central for three and a half years, um, and while there, I completed my master's at UNCG. I have a master's in Spanish education, and then after completing that, um, before, no, after I came on here full-time, I went back and finished my doctorate also at um, UNCG, so I have a doctorate in um, uh, curriculum instruction with a concentration in higher ed, so I'm actually Dr. Ray. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the course. We'll use two sites. We will use Moodle, like all of your classes. Um, and Moodle is where um, when you're looking at your grades, all, I, all you need to worry about is what it says in Moodle. And I'm pretty good at keeping up with um, posting grades. So pretty much every week it should be up to date at what your standing is in the class. The other site we're going to use is My Language Lab. It's a Pearson product and you can consider this your book, your workbook. Um, it's a place where you're going to do some of your testing. Some of your testing now I've decided to do in Moodle. So you'll have to look at both sites. Um, so anyway, when you go to Moodle, which is online.gtcc.edu, just find our class. Our class is 211 Intermediate Spanish. Um, yours would look like this. However, you won't have just Spanish. You'll have um, English. I'm going to switch my role so this looks like how it does for you and you don't see everything that's grayed out. Um, this is block zero, and I've tried to put all of our class information up there, my name, my email, my email policy, where I'm located. Um, I just want to see if this opens. Yes, it does. So um, what I was talking about, where the Skype is concerned, um, you can find it here in our Moodle site and click on it. It'll take you to the video that explains how to set yourself up on um, in Skype. Um, and then you've got my office hours. You've got our beginning date. We start today. Our census date is the 24th. 
you, if you're going to withdraw from the class, you need to make sure you do it by November the 7th. Um, and then our final is going to be due on Thursday the 8th um, by 11.30 p.m. And it will be online. More than likely, I'm going to put it in Moodle. Um, I have everything set up but the final. So in the next coming weeks, hopefully you'll see that. Um, this gives you your homework policy. Um, the fact that I don't give any makeups, but if you're having any trouble whatsoever um, and you want me to consider, um, you've had some sort of extenuating circumstance, um, I'm not saying that I will definitely allow you to make up something late, but if you have any questions whatsoever, this is the information you need to send to me in an email. Without it, I cannot help you. Um, this is our book. That's the bibliographic information. And there's the picture of the book with the ISBN number. Um, my Language Labs, that's this site right here. If you're ever having trouble with My Language Labs and it's not something I can help you with, this is the number that you want to call. Don't call any numbers that you find in the My Language Lab sites. This is our priority line. You're going to get better help calling this number. This is a link that takes you to My Language Labs. Um, if you don't want to remember, it's um, there's a bunch of gobbledygook up here, but pretty much if you just type in mylanguagelabs.com, you're going to get taken here. If you don't want to even remember that, you can just click on My Language Labs and get there. This video explains to you how to set yourselves up in My Language Labs. Um, I'm going to send this to you apart from this video as well. Um, and that's the first thing you want to do. And this is our course code, which you're going to need to get yourself set up, um, as well as the course code that you purchase. But this video will explain that. Um, this is how you can get um, a link for an Android tablet or an iPad. Um, you do not have to buy a physical book. That's up to you, because when you go into my language labs, I'll just go ahead in here now. Um, because I'm, this video I'm not going to use to show you how to do my language lab, so let me just get in here. Um, and you won't have to do all these steps. I just have a bunch of steps to do because I have sections. Um, but when you go out here, you will see that you have a... Um, there's some links up here that tell you how to set up your e-text, but right there is the e that's an e-book. So if you click on that, it's going to open up a textbook. It's exactly the same as the physical textbook. Um, so you do not need to purchase one unless you prefer to work that way. Um, so you can either look at your book on here or you can look at, um, you can set it up on your iPad or your tablet and you can look at it there. Um, I will try to have important class information in this block, like uh, your course announcements. This is where I convey information to you, but it'll also go out to an email, so just make sure you're double-checking your GTCC email, and if you ever forget, then you can look here. Um, these are rubrics. This is how I grade your oral and your writing assignments, and this is our syllabus. Um, this also takes you to um, my blog. I don't really update it all that much, but there is information out there regarding um, some various YouTube sites that might would help you um, study Spanish. So you might want to look at it, um, as well as I've posted some fun stuff. Um, and if anything else comes along that I think would be beneficial, I might post some extra stuff there. It's just a way for me to keep up with stuff um, once the semester is ended that I like to convey to people. Um, I set mine up by weeks, and if you'll notice, I have every week up. The only one that I need to still work on is your final. I don't have um, the final block completely done. And in fact, I might go in and gray it out after doing this just so um, just so there's no confusion. Um, so anyway, um, each week will tell you what to study. You'll see the assignments that you need to complete and by when they are due. Um, and then description about each assignment. Um, and if you're given one and it says visit my language labs, that means that assignment needs to be completed in my language labs. And once it's done, I will take the grade from my language lab and put it into Moodle so that all your grades are in Moodle. Um, if you've had me before, something that's a little different is that, um, and I don't think I wrote, I need to go back in and write some more instruction on this, but for each class, I'm going to have a class participation. If you click on this, it's a forum. I want you to watch all instructor videos and post any questions or concerns you have about the material, and I want you to do that for each week, and that counts as your attendance for the class. Um, and these are the videos. So this one just has chapter seven vocabulary, but each each week you're gonna find videos. And so for your class participation, I'm wanting you to watch those videos and then um, give me any of your thoughts, questions, or concerns um, regarding it. If you don't have any questions, you can simply say that, no questions. Um, but I wanna make sure that you guys are watching those videos. 
Um, another thing that I've done a little differently is your cultural assignment. I'm going to use the um, Club Cultural videos that are in my language labs. Um, I've also posted links here. Um, so you will watch the videos either here or in my language labs, and then you'll complete a, it's called a, it's called a quiz because it's a quiz feature, but I'm not counting it as a quiz. It counts as a cultural assignment. Um, you'll complete the activity in Moodle after having watched the videos, or if you want to have the videos, um, if you have my language labs up, you could have the video up at the same time you have your quiz going so you can answer your questions. And I also have done that for reading comprehension, which is a little different this time. Um, let's see if we can find a reading comprehension. Uh, reading comprehension. Um, they, these we were doing out in my language labs. I've still taken the, um, the reading segments from my language labs, but I've made my own questions. So you'll come out here, you'll read these two excerpts, and then you'll click the attempt the quiz and you'll go through and answer the questions based upon what you've read. Okay, and that's the only things that are different. So my language labs looks like this. Uh, let's go to student view. It looks a little different than it did in the past. I'm not really sure why they changed anything, but um, what's most important is to make sure you do your browser tune up and you disable your pop ups. If you don't do, do these two things, the course isn't going to work right for you. And if you ever have trouble with the listening activity, let me know. I have some videos that explain how to set up your microphone and I'll be happy to send those out. Um, but essentially, you just check here. Um, and in, um, in each week, it'll tell you what you have to do in my language labs. So like for week one, I've got to do these uh, SAM activities in chapter seven, and they're due on the 18th. So if I click on this calendar, that's where I'm going to find those SAM activities. Um, just make sure that you still check in my Moodle because of the fact that some stuff is now due in Moodle, but also because I will post extra stuff in my language labs. You'll see that I only assigned SAMs, but if you go out here, there's a bunch of tutorials. Um, and this I need to remove. I, I want to put flashcards there. I think I put the wrong thing there, but it doesn't matter. The point is, is that I will put extra stuff like tutorials and extra practice and flashcards, and those things are not a required grade for you all. I just put them there so that, you know, if you're studying um, sports, like the vocabulary, that you have all of the tools to help you study the vocabulary in one place that you don't have to hunt within the site to find it. Um, but if you're you know, there's a bunch of tutorials, maybe you, my videos were sufficient, you don't feel like you need to look at these tutorials, then don't. They're there for you in case you need extra, okay? So just make sure you do what I assign, and then the extra if you feel like you need it, and if you do not feel like you need it, do not worry about it, you don't have to complete it. I am just going to take the SAM average once you've completed it and stick it out here. Now, I only do a SAM average for each chapter, so you may see it move, like we're doing stuff in Chapter 7 here and on the week of the 15th, so I'll put your your average for this week um, out here and then um, you'll see we're doing stuff in chapter seven again for the next week so I'll move it down here and change your average depending on you know if it stayed the same if you have a hundred for both times that I signed stuff in chapter seven that's great but if um, your score went down a little bit then you'll see a change in that chapter seven average so for each chapter I just do the average um, one time so then I would move it down here um, and then you'll see a new one come up for Chapter 8, and I'll keep moving it down for each week as we do more work in Chapter 8. So you'll have a, a SAM grade for Chapter 7, Chapter 8, Chapter 9, and Chapter 10. Um, and I think that about covers it. Um, just If you have any trouble when you're running through the calendar problems, just let me know, and I will try to help troubleshoot for you guys.